If you've ever found yourself doing repetitive layouts, manually adding pages, or struggling to keep consistent branding across a multi-page document, then this session is for you. Let's start with Master Pages. First in your menu, go to Window Palettes and then Page Layout. Make sure this is ticked. Here are all the pages which have been created for this example layout. With the master page A and B, if you click on the three dots, you can create a single page master or facing page master. When you double click on master page A, it opens. This symbol in the corner shows it is a master page. Here are the running headers, date and page number, which will show on all the pages where master A is applied. This is the symbol for automatic page numbering. Just do. Control plus three for Windows or Command plus three for Mac. If you go into the master page A menu, you can set the guides and grids at ease. Here it's set it up as 10 mm. You can have different page orientations for your layout. If you create a new master page, click landscape. It's easy to drag and drop this to where you like. Another powerful tool is content variables. You won't have to type the same information again, like company name, report date, or legal disclaimer. Here, there are some options which are already defined. However, if you want to create your own, just click on the plus symbol. Here, the company name has already been created with the text string Quark Express Software Inc. Then, for report date, you can add and change the date format. Also, for legal disclaimers, again, a text string has been added. You can use these content variables throughout your layout. Here in your text box, go to Utilities Content, Variable, then Company Name, and it appears automatically. Now let's add in the legal disclaimer. Here's the best part. If you want to edit your text for the content variable, you can, and it will update everywhere. If your lengthy design project has different sections that need unique formatting like a cover page with no page number or a special header style, you can use conditional formatting. Here is a paragraph when you apply a conditional style, it instantly changes with different exclusive styles. Under the style sheets, the conditions have been set. Where paragraph style sheet is applied when text is highlighted. Then with the first style sheet, the magenta color is applied and the font change will be changed up to the semicolon. By combining these three powerful features, you can automate the most tedious parts of your design process, freeing you up to focus on what you do best, creating.